could soon sign a bill changing policing throughout the state. The bill has already passed through the legislature after negotiations between House Republicans and Democrats. News 13's Thomas Schultz is live in our studios tonight with more on the bill. Thomas, what are the new measures that could be implemented? Amy, if the bill is signed, chokeholds would be limited to instances of immediate threat or death, and officers would be instructed to administer medical assistance if force was used. However, these policies are already in place in the Bay County Sheriff's Office's policy. Well, I think you'll find a lot of agencies that, that have that either in their policy already or, or, or in their practice. There may be some agencies that still allow the, the lateral vascular neck restraint in, in when it's not a deadly force situation, so that may, may change that. Ford says chokeholds, except in instances of immediate threats, have been banned in the Bay County Sheriff's Office for at least 15 years. The administering of medical assistance was added to its policy last year. The duty to intervene was something that came uh, from the George Floyd uh, situation of something I you know, never thought we'd need to put in our policy, but obviously after, after looking at that, I felt it was reasonable uh, for us to put that in policy. While Ford says this legislation would have no impact on the Bay County Sheriff's Office, it's important for them to be cognizant of issues the community is concerned with. It doesn't change anything with us because we've been been doing that, but I think it's uh, always wise to be uh, responsive uh, to uh, questions that the community have, has and, and uh, you know, when issues uh, come up to be, be responsive to that. The measure was received by Governor DeSantis on Monday. If it isn't signed by July 1st, legislatures would have to file and pass it again. Amy. All right, Thomas, thank you. A man wanted by law enforcement in Jackson County has been spotted.